Good morning, BPS. This is Miss Marcy. I'm at the Good Earth Farm with Miss Coulter, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her farm and about herself. All right. Well, we are mostly a vegetable farm, so we grow all kinds of good vegetables to eat. Cucumbers, tomatoes, broccoli, lettuce, if you name it, we pretty much grow it, except for things like oranges and bananas that don't do well in Kentucky. But we do apples and pears also. But one of the most important things that we have on our farm are different kinds of animals. Okay, what type of animals do you have here? We have chickens. Um, we usually don't have those for, beef, for meat that we sell, but we sell the eggs. But chickens are really important to us because not only producing the eggs, they also clean up our old garden beds and they fertilize them with their manure or their poo as they eat and clean up the garden beds. And so we have them like this because I don't wanna to have to shovel that chicken manure myself. So I just move them around. And this net is here. It's got electric running through it. And so that keeps all of the animals that wanna eat my chickens out. Oh, but it cool. also keeps my chickens in so that they can't go to the garden plots where I have vegetables growing. Oh. So interesting. Do you have any other animals here? We do. We have cows. We have bees, which are really important for pollination. I know you all learned about that. And then um, we have some other small animals like rabbits, um, which we do have for meat. But they also eat vegetables that we can't. Awesome. We'll maybe take a look at those in a minute. Are there any challenges that you have to farming? It is. There's a lot. Um, it, with the animals, it's mostly predators that want to come and eat your animals. Cows, we don't have to worry about it so much. Um, they can kind of take care of themselves, but chickens, we have to be really careful to make sure that we protect them from larger things like dogs, mostly, or coyotes, but even small, cute little animals like skunks or raccoons, they love to eat chickens. Interesting. So it, it is frustrating. We do have to, you know, protect them, but we also have to keep them healthy. That's one of the reasons why we like to have them outside where they can walk around, they can get fresh air and sunshine, is that it's just healthier for the chickens. Do you name them? Do your kids have any as pets? If, if there are some that have exceptionally outrageous personalities, <laughs> they'll get a name, but other awesome. than that, they're just the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite part of farming? Um, I think just being able to go through the seasons and being able to do different things because we know that in the spring um, everything starts to come to life and it's new and in the summer we have all of the vegetables everything's just at its peak but then things slow down in the fall and you get pumpkins and then the winter everything rests so I think it's the changes awesome. in it where you get to do different things throughout the year. Season. That's cool mm -hmm. makes it interesting. Yeah. Would you recommend farming? Yes, yes, especially if you like to be outside, you like to get your hands dirty, you like to be moving, you like to experience different things and different challenges. It, it's not the same thing every single day. Um, it's always something new. It can be frustrating, but it's really rewarding. And by that, I mean you get to start something and you get to see it to the end of it. You actually see the end of what you're doing. What's your favorite food that you grow? Um, I love pumpkins. Oh, fun. Yeah, I mean, I to eat them, but also, I think probably to eat is probably like lettuce or something, but I just love pumpkins, and I think it's the fall, you know, you carve them for jack-o'-lanterns, but then you get to make pumpkin bread and all that good kind of stuff. Mm, so. Awesome. Okay, BPS, we're going to see some more animals. Let's check it out. Does the rabbit have a name? King Arthur. Oh, there's King Arthur. He's eating spinach this morning. What a beautiful rabbit. Okay, here are the cows on the Good Earth Farm. This one's still kind of a baby, just a year old. What's his name? His name is Hot Brown. Oh, so cute. I hear bees entering the hive. Super cool. 
All right, BPS, this was the Good Earth Farm. Thank you so much, Miss Coulter. You're and welcome. if you're interested in farming, we have lots and lots of library books on it. I just brought a few today on farm and cows and hatching chicks and eggs, um, but there's many, many more. So come see me in the library. Bye.